So I may have found one of the worst channels I've ever seen on this platform, and it's not even quality wise. I believe the channel I've found is manipulative and it borders on propaganda. The channel I'm referring to is the Young America's Foundation channel, with almost 400,000 subscribers. The about page says, Young America's Foundation is committed to ensuring that increasing numbers of young Americans understand and are inspired by the ideas of individual freedom, a strong national defence, free enterprise and traditional values. Young America's Foundation stepped forward to save President Reagan's Western White House, Rancho del, insert Spanish word here, in the spring of 1998 to preserve it as a living monument to Ronald Reagan to pass on his ideas to future generations. President Reagan committed himself to reaching young people with his ideas, a goal that is also central to the Foundation's mission. The main aim of this channel is clearly to target the younger generations to help bring a new generation of conservatives, but for me the channel is horrifically manipulative and it constantly tries to scaremonger, and in my opinion, that is just no way to make the youth support the right wing. You should be showing them the positive aspects of your own side, not just try and paint the other side as evil so that they support you. And that is why it's bordering propaganda in my opinion. They're, they're trying to use fear to make people support them and in my opinion it's disgusting. So if we have a look at the channel banner, it's got Ben Shapiro, um, bargain bin Stormy Daniels. I believe that's Tom Cotton. Nah, too easy. And then you've got some random Asian looking man, I'm guessing they hired as a defence for people calling them racist. Let's take a look at a few titles and you'll really start to see the issue here. Before I begin, I want to point out the fact that yes, I am indeed from the United Kingdom talking about issues from America. Trust me, I, I know what I'm talking about. I'm pretty well versed in US politics and I ask that you don't dismiss what I'm saying based solely on my nationality. Breaking the meta, how the left infects gaming. Uh, newsflash, the left have control over most creative industries, a lot of filmmakers and games creators and animators etc lean left and what they produce reflects that and so the industries reflect that but this, this title makes it seem as if there's something to be feared and that's something I want you to remember as I show you these various titles and thumbnails, they do something known as othering in which something is labelled as different or not like everything else and that is the common denominator of all these titles and thumbnails, they all try and portray the left as something different to normal America, it's something to be feared, something enigmatic and mysterious that you should you know, keep away from and this title specifically tries to portray them almost like a virus. Another one is why are socialists obsessed with unreliable energy using the symbol of the USSR trying to use the use knowledge of Soviet bad, bad to make them link socialism and the USSR. The reality of renewable energy is that yes it's unreliable when it's not getting the right attention and the right funding and of course it's going to be unreliable in deep republican territory because it's not going to be invested in in deep republican territory because they all believe in non-renewables and the people up top that run these deep republican territories doubt the existence of climate change. Socialism survivor claps back at anti-american critics. This is a pretty common one to do with people who believe in socialism to just paint them out as anti-american. It's just an attempt to discredit them by saying they want to destroy the country. They did it back in the 50s with the Red Menace, and they're still doing it now. Now, I feel like I have to clarify, because it might seem like I, I'm a supporter of socialism, but I personally don't like socialism. I think it's hard to get right. But saying, quote-unquote, socialism survivor, as if the guy survived fucking liver cancer, is again showing how manipulative this channel is trying to be. It's trying to use fear in order to make the youth align with them. And I don't agree with that. Is there any evidence that climate change is catastrophic? Bottom line, yes there is. I truly believe that the reason some people on the right don't believe in climate change is because of a lot of the higher ups have stakes in these companies or are being paid by these oil baron companies with a lot of influence to just discredit climate change. And it all trickles down to the point where you've got channels like these trying to discredit it. Now obviously I can't prove this, it's just a theory, but it wouldn't really be that shocking of a revelation now would it? Climate change is pretty much undeniable at this point. The overwhelming majority of scientists believe that we've had an impact on this planet and if we don't put measures in place, it will be catastrophic. Here's one I actually can agree with, I know, shock horror. Cultural appropriation is the story of Western civilization. I agree, and I believe it can bring positivity as long as society doesn't try to claim what they steal as their own and undermine where they got what they did. I live in the UK, a country literally built on taking things from other people's cultures. 
but that's not really the negative aspect of what we did. The negative was trying to claim them as our own and ultimately disrespecting the origins of the culture that we appropriated. Sorry feminists, men get to have an opinion on abortion. Well, yeah, no one's ever denied that, but the decision should ultimately rest on the shoulders of the woman, should it not? I mean, if I were a woman, I wouldn't want a man being able to dictate if I had my child or not, especially given the amount of men out there who make stupid mistakes and have one night stands, end up impregnating a woman and ultimately try and pressure her into aborting the child because he realises that if he has that child, his life's fucked. He, he's not really the one who should have the choice in that situation, in my opinion. Sure, he has the right to have an opinion on whether or not he believes abortion is morally right or wrong but he shouldn't really have a say on whether or not she has the abortion and no one's ever disputed the fact that a man has a right to an opinion of whether or not it's right or wrong. Women don't need an abortion to be successful. Okay, genuine question. Has anyone in the history of the human race ever argued that in order to be successful in life, you need an abortion? That's the equivalent of me making a video called Newsflash. You don't need to eat seven apples a day to have big muscles. I'm disputing an argument that no one is making. Systemic racism is a ruse. Um, tell that to the hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people of colour who live in poverty because systemic racism has forced their hand. It may not always be explicit and always be obvious, but its impact is undeniable. Crime is higher for people of colour because they basically have no choice. Let me use this example. If a woman is forced to sell her body on the street. Do you think she would do that horrible job if she had the choice and had the financial freedom to do a different job? Obviously not, but her hand is forced. In order to put food on the table, she has to do that horrible and degrading job. Same for people of colour. They're more likely to be raised around crime and subsequently become criminals because systemic racism has forced them into poverty. So they've already lost from the get-go. These two kind of back up my point about quote-unquote othering the left. Knowles obliterates anti-American left and leftists want to take away all our rights. It's pretty clear that these are just scare tactics trying to cultivate the idea that the left are different to us, something to be feared and just trying to slowly seed that idea that they're our enemies. Obliterate history. Shapiro tears down leftists attempting to rename buildings and top statues. A lot of people make this point. People who tear down statues by force, in my opinion, are scumbags and I condemn their actions, but people wishing for fucked up people to no longer be immortalised by statues in the area who do so democratically, I can sympathise with. I personally wouldn't want to live in an area commemorating slavers and white supremacists and people like that. Statues ultimately are not built to record history, they're built to honour people. The argument that toppling statues especially in a lawful and democratic manner, rewrites history. In my opinion, it's a logical fallacy because they will be remembered in history regardless of whether or not their statues remain standing. It really is as simple as people in local communities just don't want their areas to commemorate people who, in their opinion, do not deserve to be commemorated. Transgenderism wrongly separates mind from body. Well, maybe to a religious person, yes, but I would much rather someone who feels they're trapped in the wrong body from the get-go I believe that they should have the right to switch to the gender they feel that they belong to. In fact, thinking about it, surely to a person like this, mind and body are already separated to a trans person. Mentally, they might feel like a man, but physically be a female. So when they finally get, you know, gender reassignment surgery, etc., they unify their mind and body. Knowles tears into gender reassignment surgery. It does nobody any good. I mean, well, it does. Don't get me wrong, it's had unfortunate consequences for certain trans people who regretted their decision because they made it too hastily and ultimately either harmed themselves or committed suicide and I believe that surgery like that should be a lengthy process to make sure that the people doing it are 100% sure that they want to make such a life-changing decision. But the fact of the matter is it has had a positive impact on people's lives so the argument that it does nobody any good is objectively wrong. Shapiro rips social media cancel culture something I can actually agree with for once, cancel culture is poisonous and it needs to die. End of discussion. I actually want to play a particular clip here from a video called Walsh Tears Into The Left Over The Reconstruction Of Marriage. The union of a man and woman has in principle the potential to create of itself a whole new life. The union of two people of the same gender in principle does not have that potential. 
ever. In my opinion, marriage is about two people who deeply love each other and marriage merely puts that in writing. The idea that marriage is about the potential to create life surely means that a couple incapable of procreating shouldn't be allowed to marry. Think about it, if the man is infertile and the woman had her ovaries removed, surely they shouldn't be allowed to marry, going off this man's own logic? My whole point about this channel is that it uses fear tactics to scare their target demographic, which is ultimately the youth, into believing the left are the enemies of America and threaten everything they know and love. Don't get me wrong, I've seen the left do it plenty of times and I hate that, but two wrongs don't make a right. They rely on these dodgy titles to alienate and quote unquote other the left to make them something to be feared. And the sad reality is that it works. Check the comments on any of these videos and you will see plenty of people that support what they're saying. The UK has done this for decades against groups like Muslims. If you constantly portray a group of people as something to be feared, as something different to the rest of us, however untrue it may be, eventually people will believe it. And that's what happened in this country. Plenty of people are now Islamophobic because certain newspapers over decades cultivated the idea that they are a threat to Britain and eventually people just believed it. Right now the right are losing ground when it comes to the youth. Young people nowadays tend to lean more left than right and the only real leverage they have on them is cancel culture, quote unquote, owning libs and slamming socialism. They have no choice but to use these scare taxes to gain the support of the youth and that's why to me it's borderline propaganda because it's trying to use fear and manipulation to spread an ideology. And like I said, the left does it too and they also need to stop. I also condemn that but you can't excuse a wrong action because someone else does it too. Well, that concludes the video. If you liked what you saw, why not subscribe? But I will see you in the next one.